If you're not using Claude Skills, you're not using Claude Code correctly. Claude Skills makes Claude Code 10 times more powerful, fast, and smart. I have tested every Claude skill over the last couple months, and I have found these six Claude skills you're not going to be able to live without. In this video, I'll go over what Claude skills are and how they work, and show you how to install and use each one of these six Claude skills that will completely change how you build apps, even if you've never coded before. Whether you're a Claude code noob or expert, you will learn a ton from this video. Now let's lock in and get into it. So this is my number one most requested video over the last couple months. Everyone has been asking for Claude skills. So let's first talk about exactly what they are so we're on the same page. If you already know what Claude skills are, feel free to look at the timeline down below, fast forward to the first skill I show you. But let's get on the same page and talk about what they are. Skills makes Claude code insanely good at very specific repeatable tasks. So Claude code is very much a generalist AI agent. Claude skills makes it a specialist. So if you have workflows or things you do that you do over and over and over again, like designing front ends or implementing Stripe, you can use Claude skills to make Claude code so much better at those repeatable workflows. And I'll show you a bunch of examples in a second. It saves you context, which really saves you money at the end of the day because Claude's skills are really, really memory efficient. Typically what people were doing before Claude's skills is they put rules on how to do things inside Claude rules. Claude rules are inefficient because they're loaded with every single prompt you do. Claude's skills, on the other hand, are very efficient because they're only loaded when they're needed. So for instance, if you have a Stripe Claude skill that tells Claude how to implement Stripe, it's only loaded when you actually write prompts about Stripe, not with every prompt, which would happen if you're using Claude rules. This helps Claude do very consistent workflow. So a little spoiler on the first one, I'm gonna show you, it's gonna be all about designing front ends and UIs. This is gonna make it so it designs great front ends and UIs every single time you do it. So it makes Claude super consistent. My issue with Claude in the past is I'd ask Claude to do specific things and he would do it differently every time I ask it to do that one specific workflow. Now it's very, very consistent. And one of the best parts here is it's easily shareable. So you can copy and paste and send Claude skills off to whoever you want, because all it is is just a folder of markdown files. So you can give it to other people and share them out, which is really for the end of the day, like a Claude skills community where you can find tons and tons of the Claude skills online. But I'll save you all the time by showing them in this video. And just as a quick technical note, all they are, as I said before, is a structured folder of markdown files. That's all they are, is they're just structured prompts for Claude code. But it's a very well thought out standardized system that we all can get on board with and start using to improve our workflows today. So don't worry about the technical stuff. I'll show you how to use it right now. So I'm gonna show you the six amazing Claude skills I found. I'm gonna do it all in my example app I built out here, which is a project management app, but let's open it up. I'm using Visual Studio Code with Claude code built right in here into this terminal. Claude skills live within a skills folder inside your file structure. So over the left, you see dot Claude. All you need to do is create a new folder inside called skills. And inside this folder, you can put all your skills. So the first skill I want to go over is the front end design skill. I've talked about this in many videos before, but this is the best skill. I'm gonna start off with the best one. This one is amazing, but this is such an important skill. Everyone that watches this video needs to install immediately. It makes absolutely beautiful UIs like the one you see here. Before I used this skill, everything was blue and purple gradient AI slop. And now it is beautiful UIs like this app I'm showing you here. And this was all one shot. I did not need to describe the UI. It just built this beautiful UI in one shot. I've designed landing pages with this skill, this front end design skill. You can see here this beautiful landing page that has many different animations. This is for my Vibe Coding Academy. This is all one shot. Link for this down below, by the way. And it is really, really, really nicely done. There is no blue and purple slop anywhere you look here. All you need to do to install this skill, and this is straight from one of the product managers at Claude Code, is run these two commands inside Claude. And I will put both this tweet and and the commands down below in the description. So feel free to pause right now if you'd like. You just take these two commands, copy and paste them into Claude, put them right in here one at a time, hit enter, it installs it. And now all you need to do as you're building an app is say, hey, as you build out the app, use the front end design skill. 
Now, whenever you say that, it will use the front end design skill and make every piece of UI it creates so much nicer. I would use this anytime you're doing anything that impacts the UI. So anytime new components are made, anytime anything's redesigned, use that skill. And if you have apps you're working on that you haven't used that skill with, go back install that skill and now put in, hey, redesign my front end using this new front end design skill. I promise you the results you'll get will be a hundred times better. Use this for every app you build in. It is completely invaluable and I use it with all my workflows now. I could not live without this skill. And all it is at the end of the day is a markdown file that just describes the cloud how to make front end. So it's amazing. The next skill I want to go over is the domain name brainstormer skill. And this is a really awesome skill. If you're anything like me, you have 10,000 different projects you're working on at any given time. Typically what my workflow is the moment I start one of my side projects is I spend like three hours brainstorming and searching for domain names, going on GoDaddy and seeing which ones are available. This saves me hours and hours of time. Watch this. Again, I'm working on this project management app. So let's find a domain name for this project management app. I'm gonna say, I'm building a project management tool from Vibe Coders. Find me available domain names using the domain name brainstormer skill. I'm gonna hit enter on that. It's gonna ask me for permission to use that skill. I'm just gonna say yes and don't ask again. And here's what it's going to do. It's actually going to one, brainstorm me domains for the app. It's gonna brainstorm me names for my app, which always takes me a long time to do. Then it's gonna go online and you can see it right here. It's actually going to search for available domain names and let us know what is available. So we'll search through a bunch of .ai, .com, .dev, .io domain names and see what is available for us. So I don't have to go on those spammy domain name sites that always suck to look at. It will do all that research for me. So the hours it takes to think of names for my company, the hours it takes to search GoDaddy and all the other spammy domain websites out there, it will save all that time for me. What you will see here in just a second is a list of available domain names I can just go and buy immediately. My favorite skills are skills that directly save you measurable time. This is one of those skills. And I love just seeing the way Claude code works here, by the way. It, it, it shows you every single domain it's searching for at the CV availability, which is really amazing to see just kind of how it thinks. Vibe PM, Vibe Track, Flow code, vibe ship, chill dev, and all kind of cool domain names. By the way, as this is searching, if this is as mind blowing to you as it is to me, make sure to leave a like down below. And also make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. All I do is create amazing tutorials on using AI. And here's the final report. This is sweet. Look at this. So it shows me some domains that were taken, but here are the top recommendations for available ones. Vipm.io, shipvibe.dev. I actually like that one. Vibops.io, these are pretty good ones. And it gave me some creative alternatives as well. Hours saved, and now I can just choose one of these and continue on with my project. Link for this skill and all the other skills down below. All you need to do is download them and put them in your skills folder and you're good to go. The next skill is one of my favorites. It makes the most technical part for me of setting up a project very, very easy. And that is the Stripe integration skill. It is basically a skill like you can see here that describes very clearly how Plod Code should implement Stripe and manage your customers and get Stripe all set up. For me, setting up Stripe is one of the most time consuming consuming parts of building an app between the testing, setting up subscriptions, setting up products, all that, very time consuming. And I tend to mess it up a good amount because Claude Code just a lot of the time uses different processes every time it does it. But with this Stripe skill, it very consistently sets up Stripe the right way the first time, which saves me a lot of hours. From payment flows to webhooks to subscriptions to customer management, this will make sure your Stripe setup is done correctly the first time. All you need to do again to get this set up is to go to the link below for the Stripe integration folder, download that, put it into your .plod skills folder, put that in. And now anytime you're building an app and you want to start accepting payments through Stripe, which is the service I would recommend, it's going to get it done the right way. It's going to set up multi-step payment flows really well. It's going to set up the webhooks, which is probably the most critical part of Stripe and is also the most technically challenging, at least for me. You have to do a lot of different things for setting up the webhooks and testing them well. This will make sure the right events are set up for your app. So anytime you're building an app where you want to make money, which 
if you watch this channel, you probably either A, want to make money or B, making money. Make sure to use this Stripe skill whenever doing anything with Stripe and your process will go a lot smoother and you eliminate a lot of the technical work. The fourth skill I want to go into is one I use multiple times a week. It saves me a lot of time and it's not just for coding. You can use this outside of your projects as well and that is the content research writer. This will help you create content around your app so you can start advertising them and getting customers online. One of the top questions I get is how do I get my first customers? Well, this is how you do it. This is going to help you get your first customers by writing you excellent content like blog posts, tweets, newsletters that match your style, tone, and describe your app perfectly. Let me show you how it works. So here's a newsletter I wrote recently using the content researcher skill. And he wrote this newsletter completely in my voice based on a whole bunch of other newsletters I wrote, which is amazing. And what it does is it looks to see how you write. It looks at all the code in your app to see how your app works. And then it does research online to find citations just in case it needs to reference other articles online. This is way different than just using like chat GBT to write a blog post where you get all this AI slop. This actually writes you really, really good content. So I created this new markdown file, blog.md, where we're going to write a blog post about this project management app. What I'm going to say is use the content researcher skill to write a blog post write a blog post about why project management is important to vibe coders add research and citations and make sure it's refined and polished in my voice use newsletter.md as reference. So what I did here is I'm telling to write a blog post about why project management for Vibe Voters is so important. I gave a reference to one of my other writings so it understands my voice and it's going to do research online to find citations. I hit enter on that. And now my own personal writing assistant is going to write this blog for me. It's going to be excellent as a spoiler. And the difference between doing this normally with chat GBT or just Claude code without any skills and doing what we're doing now is... The skill describes the Claude code exactly how to write compelling content, how to do research online and find citations, how to emulate people's voice and style and tone. So it knows exactly what to do to write this blog post. If you just wrote a regular blog and said, hey, write me this blog post, it's just going to kind of guess how to write compelling content. It's going to come out sounding like AI. But this skill... But this skill, just like Neo jacking into the matrix and learning Kung Fu, makes Claude Code a master at content writing. So here's the blog post. It's spit it out. This actually looks really, really good. You can see there's even citation in here. You can go to the bottom and you can see all the, wow, 16 different citations that explain why project management is so important. This is really good. You felt it. That's such a good hook. That rush when cursor spits out a working feature in 30 seconds. That dopamine hit when you hit accept all and watch your code base grow faster than you can read it. That moment when you realize you built more in an afternoon than you used to build in a week. That sounds honestly exactly like if you've read any of my newsletters. That is really, really cool. If you're building your own app to Claude code, you need to be creating content because creating content is the best way to get customers. This skill makes creating content 100 times easier. Again, link down below. The next skill I want to talk about, which has been huge for finding the enterprise customers for Creator Buddy, is the lead research assistant. The lead research assistant helps you find leads for your apps. It helps you find relevant companies, customers, and people you can sell to. And it actually helps you sell to those people. So it analyzes your app, see what it's all about, and identifies key customers you can sell your app to. So watch this. This is really cool. Look at what I'm building in this repository and find me 10 companies in the United States that would benefit from this product. Use the lead research assistant skill. I'm going to enter. By the way, you don't need to say use this skill in your prompts. The markdown files describe when this skill should be used. I just say that because it makes me more comfortable, but you don't need to do it. So it's going to ask me for permission to use this skill. I'm going to hit enter and it's going to start going online and researching companies that could use my project management tool. So it's looking through my report repository. It found that it's a minimalist project management tool that combines Kanban boards and notes for vibe coders. 
And now it's going online and researching companies that could use the product. Look at this. It's even looking at Y Combinator 2025 startups because it knows it's AI focused. So it knows that would be good customers for them. Startups using cursor AI code assistance. That's actually kind of genius. So it's looking for people who use cursor, right? Because they're vibe coders and my app is for vibe coders. And AI first developing companies, that is really, really smart. I'd even tell to do that. It figured out how to do that on its own. And that's all because of this really, really powerful lead research assistant skill, which has this unbelievable markdown with hundreds of lines on how to actually research potential customers. Now it's going through and looking for basically every single AI coding tool and looking for the customers who use those tools, which is amazing. And boom, it's all done. It found me 10 total leads. It categorized them into different priorities. Number one lead is factory.ai, 10 out of 10 priority score. It goes over where they're located, how many employees they have, their total funding, why they're a good fit. And it even gives me, look at this, target decision maker and their LinkedIn profile. And then tells me exactly uh, how to outreach them and what to say to them in my conversation starters. Imagine being like a BDR or a salesperson at any modern company right now. If you download this skill, your entire job, you just automate it for yourself. It doesn't matter if you're an app builder or a salesperson. This is going to save you so much time and actively make you money from helping you find leads for your app. Before I get into the last skill, just make sure to leave a like down below if you learned anything at all on this video. The last skill I want to show you is the skill creator. I know, a little meta, but this skill is great if you want to build your own skills moving forward. So this is an entire markdown file that describes in-depth detail on how to create your own skills. So the way you want to do this is you want to actively think as you're building apps, what processes do I do over and over and over again that I want to perfect? and have Claude skill master. I'll give you a good quick one. If you watch my videos, you know I use Superbase for almost all my projects. You can go, and I challenge you to do this. This is your homework for after this video. Go in, download the skill creator skill, put it into your Claude code project, and have it build you a Superbase skill for yourself. It'll make Claude code so much better at setting up and creating migrations for you for Superbase. That's my homework assignment to you. It will make you so much better, more in-depth markdown files for your skills. Install that immediately. All six skills are linked down below. Make sure to download them, put them into your projects, and you'll be good to go. Let me know down the replies. What other Claude code concepts do you want to learn about? Claude plugins high level just Claude code 101 refreshes new updates news whatever you want let me know down below what you want me to cover in my next Claude code video it seems like these are the most popular videos thank you so much for watching make sure to subscribe turn on notifications also sign up for the vibe coding academy if you want weekly calls with me be able to ask me questions anytime you want that link is down below as well and i will see you in the next video